Hey there, my name is Jan Gilbert. I'm a Google My Business product expert, and today I'm going to talk about how to remove a Google My Business fake review. And I'm also going to give you the contact options, the updated contact options for this year, for 2021, because there's a lot of old videos, there's a lot of old information. Uh, Google keeps updating their processes, and so what you're supposed to do uh, it changes sometimes, and so this is the newest information that I will be giving to you. I'm also gonna start from the beginning, like how to flag a GMB review. Uh, I'm gonna talk about what reviews they'll take down because there's a lot of times business owners say it is a fake review, but when you actually look at it, Google doesn't consider that to be a fake review. Um, how long it should take, what you should do while you're waiting, and what options you have if you do the normal flagging process and it doesn't come down because there's probably a lot of people watching this video to say I've already done it and it doesn't work so what do I do now so I'm gonna give you those things at the end so just go through the basic stuff here um, Google my business help says uh, request review re, you know review removal just go to your account flag it and you'll be able to do that it's very easy you just go into your Google my business go to reviews and then you'll see all your reviews here and I just have one an old one I flagged it before but I'll just give an example all you have to do is click that button uh, flag is inappropriate it'll give you a little bit of a warning say hey don't do it more than once um, uh, whatever hit continue and then it'll give you an option of what what you think is wrong with this review and so what we'll do is we'll just look at these prohibited and restricted contents because Google what Google will only re remove what breaks their rules so just because a, a review is fake in the sense that uh, a user uh, a, a customer visited a business and lies but they actually visited the business Google won't take that down right Google won't investigate between what's true and not true if it clearly breaks this these rules that's the only time they're going to take it down so pretty self-explanatory I'll leave that link in, in the description so I don't have to go through all of this um, but uh, one of the things I just want to mention here is the conflict of interest um, where you're not obviously you're not allowed to review your own business don't do that you can get your listing removed um, if there's a empl ex-employee that leaves a review then you should be able to get that removed but they have to clearly say I worked at this business and they're garbage right if they say I've worked here then that's cause for flagging it if they just leave a name or a different name Google's not going to investigate if they worked for you or not even if you have proof and they're not going to care so the the rules have to be broken in a very clear way for Google to take them down now when you flag a review it gets sent to you know a support in another country not necessarily in your country where there's you know native English speakers for example and so it, it may not got done the right way so you, you flag the review you have to wait three days and then see what happens sometimes it takes a little bit longer depends if support is backed up but official guidelines are wait three days um, well, so what happens while you're waiting right so you got a bad review it's impacting your business people are seeing it um, what should you do you should answer the review so in this case I didn't answer the review it just didn't make sense I thought it would be able to come down <laughs> they didn't take it down I'm leaving it up as an example um, reply to the review what you need to do is talk to the potential customers that are seeing you listening you're listening you're not you're not caring about replying to this actual person right you say something like thank you uh, for your review we don't have a record of you ever visiting or using our services please give us a call and we'll try to deal with it in our in the best way possible right you want to be professional you want to be open you want to show people looking at your listing that hey the business owner is responsive it looks like they care right so people can ignore that one star review because you're also casting doubt on it by saying we don't have a record of you coming in now if there's a lot of reviews that are fake obviously it, that's going to be a little it's going to look a little bit fishy right every single one star review you get like we don't have a record of you we don't have right so um, if there's a lot of fake reviews that come in and they don't get taken down because when we're looking at the guidelines 
um, they're going to look at one at a time. Did that one specific review break any rules? Well, no. But if it happened 10 times, sometimes you're flagging. They don't all go to the same person. And so they're looking at it on one at a time. So if there's a pattern, it doesn't get picked up very easily. And that's where you're, you still need to flag them individually. But then you probably will have to go um, a different route if they don't come down. So it'll, it should take three days while you're waiting, respond in uh, an appropriate manner. And if the review doesn't come down, you have two options and we're going to uh, go here. I'm going to give all these links in the description and basically you have two options. You can either contact them or ask the help community. So it's hard to know which one to do first. You could try to do the contact us, um, contact support, and uh, we'll go through that right now. If you hit that, it'll bring you to this page. And basically what you'll need to do is just write a fake review or something like that. Hit next step. It'll populate some some ideas for you and pick the best one. Uh, re let's say you're going to remove a review. And what it's going to do, it's going to give you some forum threads where you can try to get help, uh, examples of what ha helped before, or the link to the official support page, which is this one but obviously we've already done that and it's not working that's why we're here and so you'll go to next step and then you'll get some contact options now not all these options will be available to you depending on how backed up support is but um, you can either get a call chat or email email will always be available um, there's no more social support so you'll see old videos or old um, articles that say oh you know um, go to Twitter's uh, GMB support or go to Facebook's. Th those are closed if you if you um, at them or, or post there they're not going to work um, for you you're not going to get back to you in a timely matter in any case so choose one of these that that suits best and then type in all the information go back to the guidelines and be really specific when you're writing them or talking to them and say there's a review it breaks this rule remove it right that's what you need to do because again you want to make it easy for the person who's trying to help you to spend the least amount of time make it really clear and say they broke this rule over here copy paste it and and then send it in to email or in chat paste it and and or talk to them and say hey this is the rule right so we want to be really really clear because they have hundreds and thousands of things to, of, of reviews to look at so if that doesn't work or alternatively you can go and ask the help community and so this is a forum uh run <coughs> excuse me run by volunteers uh which are the google uh, product experts like me and we'll just click this button and basically again enter all the information enter say here's my listing here's a review this is the rule it breaks um, please take it down and uh, we're going to try to help you so i'll give you an example where uh, where are we here we go an example where someone flagged the reviews they weren't taken down we've reported all the reviews we have responded to the fake reviews but they're still there um, because as I mentioned before when there's a pattern of a lot of them it Google doesn't really deal well with that so this person came to the forum and another platinum product expert um, is trying to help them out he says give us all the information here's a link to every single user that left the review um, obviously fake you know Gwen Stefani it's not a real name um, that kind of stuff so he'll escalate that and he'll give you a ticket number and um, this will go to a different line of support than if you flag it. And so you're going to get another set of eyeballs, a little bit more um, probably in your country uh, or at least a native English speaker. And they're going to look at it in a little bit uh, more in-depth way than just regular flagging. So that's what you need to do. So regular, you flag it normally, wait three days. While you're waiting, respond to review to mitigate any damage that it can do on your listing. If it's more than three days, either contact support through the get help link or you ask the community where we can try to escalate for you. Now, when you do those things, it might take it might take a week. It might take a couple weeks for us to before we send it in, 
Google gets back to us and we respond or whatever, it, it, it's long, but that's the process where you have to do. So um, hopefully this helped to, to go through all the steps and hopefully I covered all the situations. If it hasn't, give me a, you know, leave a comment uh, and <clears throat> I'll let you know if something changed, if something doesn't work in the future, leave a comment and we'll, we'll try to figure out for you. Thanks.